Well, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Well, actually, it's good afternoon. Happy Thursday. As Shamika said, thriving Thursday. I said, think about it, Thursday. And then we have throwback Thursday. So yeah, it's not just a regular Thursday. It's extra special because we are extra special. So how's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Hey, Deborah. Hey, Shamika. Bethany. Hey, hey. Ms. Delta and Erica, good to see you. Hey, Nicole, Rochelle, Kim, happy Thursday, everyone. So I want to know how your Halloween went. Did anybody do anything uh, on Halloween? How did that go for you? Because we did talk about on Tuesday, we talked about leveraging, not celebrating Halloween, if that's not your thing. Um but leveraging Halloween to expose more people to your business, right? It's 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 a day to a day of the year. Actually, I think it's the only day of the year when people are gonna come up to your house that you didn't have to ask or beg. <laughs> so why not take advantage of that and expose your business, Miss Delta? Yes, <laughs> I loved it. Um, I I don't know if I spoke about it. Uh, my daughter. Uh, she's doing a new thing of going to this particular uh, uh, subdivision where they, it's called Tillman Street, where they do, you know, when I say elaborate, they take it to the next level. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we did that. And of course, um, I was kind of prepared for the weather, but kind of not because <laughs> I was freezing. It, it was it, it was raining and then it starts snowing. You know, it was a whole nother thing. But I had my cards in my, in my pocket mm -hmm. and I... Um, we come up and kids go up and get candy. I said, oh, and I have a gift for you too. And I would, you know, give them the, the combination of both cards. Mm -hmm. And the this morning they were talking about, you know, basically staying out of your feelings. Don't get caught up into your nose and things like that. And um, um, not allowing, you know, situations and circumstances to happen to cause you to, you know, lose your balance. Mm -hmm. And I say, because... I was, you know, kids got their candy and I, you know, did the card to this one. She was like, oh, no, 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 no. I guess I to say it was like a plague or something. She did not want the card or anything like that. And I'm saying that to say not to get, I could have got caught up in the circumstances of her telling me no, like, you know, oh, oh, I don't want the card or whatever. And I just took it as, you know, like I said, as a no to persist on and keep moving. But I, I, I'm glad that you shared your experiences as far as what you, you don't celebrate Halloween, what you do do as far as taking advantage of. It. And I appreciate that because now I look at Halloween as being not a celebratory, you know, type of um, holiday, but to utilize it to move me, you know, elevate me up to the next level. So I, I say thank you for that, but yeah, I, I utilize it. Awesome. 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 Anybody else? What did I you used it? Um, so <laughs> for Halloween, I went to a lock in in uh April with an ambassador this year, mm -hmm. and she gave us a really good idea. These it's those little drawstring bags mm -hmm. that like like paparazzi comes mm -hmm. in those little mm -hmm. bags, and she said to put candy in it along with your business cards. So I was able to give out 200 of those with your plan B. Nice. I had the plan nice. B card plus my travel agent card in there because I know parents are going to check the candy right before the kids eat it. So the business cards are for the mom and dad I and the candy it. is for the kids. So that turned out pretty good. I gave out 200 of those. So I'm hoping Excellent. to. Excellent. Yeah. Kim, that was a success. Yes, I think so. Yes, I love that. I love that. Congratulations. That's awesome. Shamika. So I wasn't able to go to the party because I had the baby with me and there's no kids. But anyway, um, I did put together um, a trip for Carnival and uh, Rio de Janeiro. I did nice. a, a um, kind of a, like template thing. If you want to, I can show it a little later. Mm -hmm. um, and I just sent it out to people. I, I did the spectacular deal and I did like the Halloween colors. Um, and also yesterday, since I didn't get a chance to do the Halloween thing, I did, um, they had a one woman's want at this hotel down here every Wednesday, women can come in and get a free drink. So I did that yesterday and I gave my cards out to two of the people that was there. Excellent. Excellent. I love it. I love it. 
Anybody else? What did you do for Halloween to move your business forward? Anybody take advantage of it? I'm going to share my screen and show. Um, uh, let's see, I think it's downloading. OMG, my husband needs to see this video. I just saw the <laughs> Eagles. <laughs> He's diehard Eagles. Is he? Oh, your yes, husband, my husband would get along great. Oh, yes. <laughs> Deborah, that's the plan B business card. We call them peak interest business cards. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> I started writing the peak interest on the back of my black cards. So that's what I did. Every parent that came up um, got my peak interest business card as well as my IntelliTravel card. Um, and then I had that QR code for them to scan. Um, and then anybody that would register would get entered into a drawing for the three-day getaway. So a few people did scan. I, I don't think I've seen anybody complete the registration, but it definitely was a conversation starter. And it allowed me to, you know, engage um, with the business part, the business partners. I'm claiming it. Look at me speaking it to an existence. Um, it allowed me to, you know, just engage in conversation with my neighbors. So that was fun. That was fun. Aside from the mosquitoes tearing me up. I don't know why I didn't close my screen and just open it when I needed to. Too late. 12 mosquito bites later. But it was fun. We had a good time. And then, of course, having the music going, you know, that made people want to come up. And then everybody, you know, they just was amazed at the floor and the garage and stuff. So that was cool. Um, yes, Shamika, the IntelliTravel business cards, you said you need to order more? Yes, they came a long way. And the first one was, I'll tell you a quick story. They used to say wet on them. They used they to say what? wet your website it was like your website your email and then your telephone number so when i would give it to people they'd be looking like what is wet and i'm like it's not oh my goodness so yeah i <laughs> those cars came a long a very long way so yeah. i'm order me some more <laughs> yeah when they first came out i just i made my own and um this the print just designed my own and then when they came out with these i was like oh okay, it's cute those are cute. And, you know, you, you want to, I was real big on branding my travel agency, but I mean, when you have $3 billion booked um, with IntelliTravel, that name goes a long way. So, um, and the website is much nicer now. So now I, I do like um, utilizing those cards. Erica? Yeah, so regarding the cards, um, I didn't, I didn't make, I didn't get cards from IntelliTravel at first. I made my own on Canva and I ordered my own, right? But I did not know that that was one of the requirements for if someone wants to come in, you know how they have, IntelliTravel has, they'll make you whole mm -hmm. in the end of your first year. So mm -hmm. I think one of the requirements is you have to get business cards within your first 90 days. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that. And I got business cards. If I would have known <laughs> that it was, I needed the intelligent travel ones, I would have known. So that's like a good thing to know. It's like, what are the requirements for that make you whole? And getting business cards is one of them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and Erica, it goes back to people getting familiar with their back office. <laughs> Some people start their business and they just never, they never log in and click around and read. 
And part of the 15 day quick start, we tell you to, um, uh, what was, I just had a brain part of the 15 day quick start. Oh, we tell you to watch the come and take a tour video so that you can get familiar with your back office. But yes, in order to take advantage of the unique profit guarantee, um, you have to order business cards within the first 90 days. So that is true. Anybody, uh, Rochelle? Hi, I had put it in the chat, but um, I had text you, but then it was, uh, you know, we can't participate in anything when it comes to Halloween, even candy. Mm -hmm. So I figured, you know, I'll just put a QR code at the door and then maybe they'll come. Yeah. So later on, I just, just decided to, I remember there was a guy who I spoke to. We, I was in Walmart and we switched numbers and I saw him and his wife and said, hello. And he asked me, he said, hey, do you know anybody uh, who can use maintenance? And I said, do you have a card? He said, no. So I got his phone number and mm -hmm. then I started to back call that guy so what i did is um i just you know he saw the big picture video um, it wasn't for him but he did say he'll share up to other people excellent 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 we love people that will give out referrals uh and remember some people are going to be a bridge to other people so for those people who say no they're not interested at at this time then you just ask them for a referral who do you know who could benefit from an opportunity like this to generate extra income from home. I guarantee you, they know someone. <laughs> and give them some of your cards. Say, hey, pass my card on to that person, um, you know, and have them reach out. Anybody else do anything on Halloween? Anybody leverage Halloween to move their business forward? I don't know how to raise my hand on this thing. <laughs> it's all right. All right. Um, I went to um Starbucks and while I was waiting in line I passed my card out to the folks in line and um I uh told them I said give me your number and we can talk you know because I struck up a nice conversation with everyone mm -hmm. and then after I left them so I gave up my card to five people I got five people information nice. and then I went over to Olive Garden Ooh. And I did the same thing there at Olive Garden. So I ordered the food to go. I sat at the bar. And while I was sitting at the bar, I ordered a glass of wine. And then this other lady, she had a glass of wine. So I said, oh, you're just like me. You ordered wine. I said, we must be sisters. I said, hey, my name is Deborah. I gave her my spill. And I said, I said, look, I said, I have this great, fantastic business. I would love for you to take a look at it. So I peeked it in. I said, I said, um, let me get your information. I didn't get her information, but I was like, it's okay. You know, and mm -hmm. then the guy that served me, I peaked him too. So excellent, excellent, excellent. Good job. Good job. So yeah, the board, the peak interest um business cards would be a benefit um for you. It's it's perfect for situ it allows you to say what you want to say without having to say it, and then it has your contact information on it. So that, you know, if people are interested, they can, um, you know, they can reach back out to you. So hold on, I'm going to pull a picture of it up. Uh, where is it at? Of course, now that I want to find it, I can't find it. <laughs> All right, I'll find it in a minute and share it. But anybody else do anything? On Halloween to move your business forward, anybody else leverage Halloween as a way to expose their business or to grow their business? All right. Who is working, promoting, actively promoting to grow your travel agency business? What are some things that you're doing now around the holidays? Oh, and before anybody answers that, I did have a, a thought that I was going to do today. Um, now that Halloween is actually over, I have a ton of candy left. Anybody else have a lot of candy left? You know, I gave all mine out with my bags. They're gone. Oh, good. Anybody? You may have bought more than me, though. I, 
I did. I bought a lot. I was expecting a lot. But since I have a big bin of leftover candy, I figured I would take a picture of it and put it in my travel group and have people guess how many pieces of candy um, are left and do some type of giveaway in my travel group for that. So you guys can do that too. I bet if you, you could just go on Google and find a bin of candy and, you know, just pick some random number in your head of what it's going to be and then do a giveaway or a contest, run a contest in your travel group. Um, that's also a great way to get people to register on your um, IntelliTravel site. We definitely want pe more people to register on our site um, so that they are entered into the marketing program where they get the, um, you know, the uh, emails, the, the email blasts of things that are going on in the industry. So that's a good way to do that. And let me pull up, here we go. So I'm gonna share my screen so Deborah can see an example of the peak interest business card. So here you go, Deborah. You could design your own. I got this right off of our planet marketing um, images in our back office. So you can find one that you like. I got this wording, you know, from the website, you add your picture, whatever you want. And then on the back, uh, this QR code goes to the big picture video. You can have it go to your online calendar. You can have it go to your website. It's whatever you want. Get creative. Think outside the box um, when it comes to creating peak interest business cards. Kimon? Yes, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. So I I just pretty much take the information and then put it in Canva. Is that what you're is that what you did, Director? And just put yes. it. Oh, yes, okay. Canva has a template for business cards. So I just designed it on there, whatever I want. Canva also has a um a tool to create QR codes. Yeah. So I created the template. Um, I used the business card template on on Canva to design it. Then I downloaded that. And then I upload it because I order my business cards through Vistaprint. I have an account with them. You can, I mean, there's so many places you can order business cards. I'm just saying I use Vistaprint. So I was able to upload the image to Vistaprint as if I was designing my own business card through Vistaprint. And then I ordered it there. Okay. Because I heard you talk about it on Tuesday, the peak interest cards. I'm like, ramaging through the back office to see if it was there but it wasn't <laughs> it's not there that was something that um me and my best friend came up with when we joined the business because at our job we weren't allowed to talk to people about our business we couldn't stand by anybody's desk talking too long because it was a call center um so we're like oh let's create some cards that we could just kind of slide people these cards um, and they can get all the information from the cards without us having to talk to them. I just left the car wash this morning. On their counter, they have um, business card holders. So I left some of my peak interest business cards there um, at the car wash. Again, anytime I go out to eat, sign the check, leave the tip. I'm also leaving my business card because I got a tip for them, <laughs> the business card, right? Um, lots and lots of opportunities to give out those cards. Um, like I said, I still use the Planet Marketing Black cards, but I only use those cards when I actually have time to have a, a, a full conversation with someone. Um, but if I don't have time and it's just like a quick in and out, gotta go, then I leave my peak interest business cards. Delta? Yes, um, I have a question. It, um, when you first talked about the P cards and um, uh, myself and, and 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 our team, we you know utilized you know putting it the, uh, together the information for the P cards, and when I ordered them, when they came back, it was great except for the QR codes on the back, and then I end up reordering them. 
So I was thinking about instead of just letting them sit and <laughs> not be utilized, we'd be okay, even though they don't have the, the QR codes on the back, go ahead and still give them out and use them anyway. Yeah, of course. Or you can make some stickers with the QR code and stick them on the back. Okay. Didn't think about that. Okay. Awesome. Because I because I, I, I was just thinking about the other day, I was talking to uh, Karen. I was like, well, they don't have the, because I think the the ones that I ordered that where everything is okay, I think I got like 10 left. <laughs> Out of what I ordered, I got 10 left. I'm like, okay, so let me, you know, uh, uh, utilize them. But yeah, I was saying, even though I have I think it, I want to say it's a hundred or maybe two fifty. I don't know. I got to check and see the number, but I said it doesn't have the two QR codes. So I, I should be able to, you know, go ahead and utilize them anyway. But yeah. uh, as you said, the sticker. So I'll look into yeah. that. Yeah. Just print out some stickers with the QR code uh, information. Just stick them on the back of the cards. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Shamika. I was just going to say in regards to your question about um, marketing the travel side of the business. Mm -hmm. um, so what I've been doing is just preparing myself for next year. So I've been marketing like Valentine's Day, um, hotel getaways um, for different cities. Uh, I do have, so I did a whole little thing with Rio de Janeiro because I'm obsessed with Carnival. So this lady reached out to me about Carnival. And she was like, I want to be a dancer. Uh, you know, I want to actually dance with them. And I'm like, lady, I don't know how to do that. But I found out. <laughs> really? Through Viator, okay. you're able to experience being a dancer at Rio de Janeiro. But also, um, if you don't want to be a dancer, they do have something that's called like a premium skybox. Mm -hmm. So you can watch. You can watch the whole carnival parade thing from a skybox. Nice. Be free food, free um, liquor, uh, wine, nice. and whatever. And you actually have like a behind the scenes um, tour thing where you get a chance to see like their outfits and the dances. So I put like a whole little thing together um, on my page and put it at the top of featured. I also use Step Tree for like if they want to do the hotel and, you know, the flight. So I did all of that um, and just nice. promoting Carnival and just thinking about, you know, all the things that people reach out to me. Estes Festival, I already have something for that together. Good. And just doing mm. those little things like that. So, yeah. That's good. Yeah, Essence Festival is a big one and it sells out. The hotels, I don't know if there's a shortage of hotels or they just sell out quick. Did you find a yeah. vendor for that, Shamika, or you just kind of did it piece by piece? They sell out quick. Um, it's it's because it's like people who go there all the time. It's like they they already purchasing that stuff before they leave the building. Like right, it's, it's one of those things. But for the Essence Festival, I did find tickets through Golden Tickets mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. through the Essence Festival. But then you know I had just had to piece together the hotel yeah. and you know the airfare. Um, so yeah. I did find golden tickets do the Essence Festival, but yeah. Okay, that's good. That's real yeah. good. That's real good. Ms. Delta? Um, yes, I want to say, uh, just to piggyback what Shamika was talking about, because I've been trying to get back to New Orleans, and my bestie, we've been trying to, for two years, get back to New Orleans for the Essence Festival, and for two, well, the one year she, she was sick. Well, we tried, I think, get there last year, and I guess I couldn't even get it out my mouth fast enough. And she was like, "It's like, like you said, I don't know if it's a shortage on the hotels or what have you, but it sells out quickly. But she, she did give me an idea on the, I guess, jumping ahead kind of thing as far as, you know, planning things like basically a year in advance to like, you know, promote, you know, um, trips and things like that on your website. So I'm. I hope hope you don't mind me. I'm gonna kind of like you know steal that idea from you. But yeah, because like I said, we've been I, well. I've been trying to get back to um to New Orleans because I went I think two years ago and had a phenomenal time in it. The, some of my experiences that I was able to do, we did the I think it's called the Swamp Tour. So mm -hmm. things that I put into you know like I said you know whatever package or whatever I put together that would be something that I could um to advertise. So that that's pretty awesome. Awesome. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love it. The other thing that I would encourage everyone to do is to um, put together some type of New Year's Eve 
package. Um, a lot of people don't want to be home for New Year's Eve, right? So promote going someplace else um, to bring in the new year. You know, even if it's just, you know, a two night getaway somewhere for a couple just to be in another city, um, mm -hmm. you know, for New Year. So definitely look at that. Pay attention to your emails because the suppliers are sending us emails of all, they're already promoting stuff. So all you got to do is just take it and, you know, do use that as content for your, um, you know, for your travel group. They are, they've already put the stuff together and, and they're, they're doing a promotional whatever. So it's going to be some discounts or if it's a cruise, it's an onboard. I definitely, um, encourage you to promote these cruises. Make sure you are registered with all of the major cruise brands, all of them. Even if your niche market is the Caribbean or Europe, everybody should be registered with all of the cruise brands. In my opinion, cruising is big. Cruising is big. And it's and as a travel advisor, it is the easiest thing to book. So we should all be promoting um, cruises. Everybody should be promoting cruises. And cruises pay the highest commission. This is where you're going to see 16, 17, 18% um, commissions. Usually it's around between 16 and 18, depending on a cruise brand. But sometimes they add in a little extra if they have some type of promotion or something going on. So everybody should be um, promoting the cruise bands. Where are we posting the information? Um, Deborah, once you have a name for your travel agency, everybody should create a group on Facebook or whatever social media that you are um, using. You should have a group for, you know, whatever social media platform that you're using, you should be... Um, creating something for your travel agency. So here's mine. My travel agency is called Lux Platinum Travel. So I created a group on Facebook called Lux Platinum Travel LLC. I have over 6,000 people in there. And so based on emails that I'm getting, I just use that as content for my travel group. And sometimes it's just a copy and paste, right? I get this email here from Virgin Voyages. I just did a copy and paste. I Make sure you cropped. Please crop. Please use the cropping tool. If you don't know how to use the cropping tool on your camera, go to YouTube University to know how to do that. I hate when people post images and you could tell that they just screenshot it from their phone and they didn't take the time to crop it. So don't do that. Um, is that I've been doing a lot of getting a lot of interest with these villas. So I'm really going hard with the villas and, and taking the pictures and using Templi to create a video with the villas, with some music and stuff. And I have that information here. So I've been promoting a lot of that as well. Um, I saw some hands up. Uh, Lakeisha. Hello, Director Burke. Hi. Um, I just, I'm glad you said that because uh, about checking your emails from the suppliers, because I remember when we first started, that was one of the things that you guys used to talk about. It's already done. So I was like, why am I spinning my wheels trying to rem to find something to promote? So I'm definitely going back using the emails. And I think right now I'm kind of doing, we're going to focus on Virgin since I've been doing a lot of their training and webinars. Mm -hmm. And it's already, like you said, they have the stuff there for us to use. So I'm glad you, I was like, yeah, I'm stop spinning my wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Shamika and then Kim. I was just going to say a little tip. What I did um, when I was sending out my spectacular deals, I took the, I went to my Travel back office and took, went to my customer management and just, you know, they was already on Excel. So I just went through the list and just sent everybody my uh, spectacular deal. There you um, go. Yeah. And it was something else I wanted to say. I can't think of it right now. It'll come back to me. But yeah, that's that's how I mainly got my, my spectacular deals. I just took the emails and sent them out um, to people who registered on my Intelli Travel website. I love it. I love it. 
Are you using IntelliSpark, Shamika? No, but I, I am going to, I intend on using it. Okay. Because I think they got it set up where you could easily do what you did because um, it's all connected. So that's good. Kim? Hey, I was wondering if you could share, because you know I pay attention to everything. Yes, <laughs> when, you pulled, <laughs> when you pulled up your group page just now, right? Mm -hmm. You have 6.7 <laughs> followers on there. Can you give like some marketing tips on how, like I know I can invite people there, mm -hmm. but like marketing tips to, hey, invite people to my group page and I'll like, what's some marketing tips to get other people to add people to my group? Right. So yeah. keep in mind, um, I I started this group page when I joined Planet Marketing and IntelliTravel seven years ago. So this okay. is seven years of work. Also, back then you could add people to your group. You didn't have to invite them. You could literally take people, boom, drop them in there. Gotcha. Okay. Then Facebook changed it and now you can only invite people, but you used to be able to just put people in there. So that was um, okay. a benefit. So when you start your travel group and there is a, um, there's a training video on my YouTube channel, um, how to market your travel business or social okay. media one-on-one. -on -one. I can't remember which one. It's probably both. Um, but there's some tips in there. So when you first, 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 first start your travel group on your social media, you want to make sure there's content in there before you start inviting people to join it. Nobody wants to join an empty group. So if you don't have a, a travel group that you've created on Facebook, you want to at least have, I would say, Kim, minimum 15 posts. Well, I have, um, it's a, a company um, that automatically drops posts in my group every day about travel, mm -hmm. different locations. So there there are items in there, not from me, but I think they're called- What's your group? Travel. I want to go look at it. Oh my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> feeling fly travel. Feeling fly, fly, travel, travel. Let's see if it'll even come up. Yep, that's me, number one. Okay, so let's. Oh, this one up here, right? This one, uh huh. Uh, all right, let's take a look and see. Okay, so. The first thing that I see, can I, may I critique it? I would love for you to critique it. <laughs> There's nothing in there about this group. Okay. Like an about, like about you, but about the group. About, about you as a travel advisor. Why, why, what is this group? Why should I be in it? What type of services do you offer? There's nothing here. So if I'm... If I'm a prospective client, uh -huh. I don't know anything about you. What's going to make me want to book with you as opposed to one of the other 97,000 IntelliTravel advisors? Okay. Okay. Right. So you definitely want to, you know, talk about your services, what you do. Do you have any certifications, Kim? Uh, Dream maker. Um, I did go to the, the, um, the travel, um, Thing that came to Dallas with all the vendors there mm -hmm. um that should have took me to my next level but for whatever reason I guess I didn't give them enough proof that I was there Let um know. I mean you should have gotten a, a dream maker certificate I do have that so that Take needs to go there. And email it to them no I have my dream maker it's the next step vacation uh, builder there you go vacation builder um, that should have got, when I went to that travel event, that was two days out here uh -huh. with all the vendors. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Do you have so, a, a copy of your registration for it? I do. I gave that to them. Oh, well, follow up. I them. even sent them. Yeah. I even sent them a copy because you get uh, a lanyard with your name on it and everything. Mm -hmm. I gave that to them. It, 
for one person, it was enough, but for me, it wasn't. So I'll, don't worry. I'm going again in February. Yeah. So, but do you um, have any other supplier certifications? Yes, I've done. Um, I haven't completed, but I have started Virgin Voyages. Mm -hmm. I've started Carnival and I'm doing Royal Caribbean. I'm okay. kind of, I need to focus on just one at a time, but yes. I've done two levels of uh, Virgin Voyages so far and I have the certificates from it. Okay, so add those in there. Yeah, I posted them on my regular page, but, but I need to post but them. Why in would here. you post them on your regular page when you have a travel group that is specific to your IntelliTravel business? That the, you know, I only what I'm have saying? 114 members compared to your 6.7. But you have to work on that. How That's why I was asking for marketing ideas. Yeah, how to get but more people. I'm about to tell you. I'm about to go. Okay. On. But before you do that, we got to fix this. We got to okay. fix this group because. Nobody's going to want to stay in here. Gotcha. Right. So as you, if you have a niche market that you're focusing on, you want to put that information in here. Any certifications that you have, put that in here. Your contact information, right? Your where, Where's your email address? Where's your phone number? If, if you're, you know, if you have a business phone number, make it easy for people to want to, um, to book with you. If you're Got using it. Travel Joy, you have your Travel Joy link in there to the trip inquiry form or something. Um, so those are some other things that you want to put in the um, about me section. Um, and I'll tell you one of the things that I did, and I'm gonna come back. Let me let me join your group. Yeah, so I don't lose it. <laughs> um, hold on one second. Let me go back to mine. Once you are clear about your group, as far as what you represent, the type of clientele, all of that stuff, use chat GPT to help you create the about me section. Okay. Right. So that is some of the thing, uh, some of the, th something that I did recently, once I had discovered the chat GPT. I used it to tweak my about me section. Um, so like this one, because my my target audience is luxury travel, right? And I'm a, and I'm certified in luxury, right? So I had Chat GPT create this. Okay. Right. Um, anything about your travel agency, right? This is kind of my little. Uh, what do you call it? I can't think of the word. Tagline or whatever, right? When the experience matters most, choose Lux Platinum Travel. And here I have information that all bookings through me have travel insurance, no exceptions. Okay. Right? I talk to them about my bucket list vacations. These are, you know, bucket list destination packages that I pre-make for people. So I'm letting them know that I put those out from time to time. Um, and then I have the link here that goes to my um, Travel Joy trip planning page. I have my link to my IntelliTravel site. I have my phone number. I have my email. I have my certifications, right? Every time I get a new certification, I add it here. Okay. All right. All right, so let's go back to yours. Oh, Doctor. Of course, she wants to go out. So once you, Kim, as you once you get your about me, you know the about you as a travel advisor, your travel agency section up to date, then what you want to do is content. Make me want to book travel with you. It's cool that you have some fun stuff in here. You want to sprinkle that in, but okay, where are the trips? <laughs> where are the promotions? Where are the deals? Right? And that's um, where I'm getting confused because I really thought this is where Branch Up but I see where Shamika put in the comments that she thinks is on my personal page, but I really thought it was no, here. it's on your business page. They only do business pages. They don't do groups. 
I didn't know I had a business page. <laughs> Kim, I need okay. you to mind your business. <laughs> you yes, got to know your business. Right? Okay. I really thought it was posting here, but you're right. It, it must be in the business page. Okay. Mm -hmm. And business pages are really only going to benefit you if you're paying for ads. If you're paying Facebook to run an ad, um, then you have to have a business page in order to do that. Other okay. than that, it's going to be more beneficial to have a travel group, to create a group um, on Facebook where it's dedicated to your travel agency, which is what you have here. And this is where you're going to promote your services as a travel advisor. Uh, Shamika and then Kimon. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Director. Or and then one more thing, Kim, once you get your content and we're going to go back to this, once I answer everybody's questions or uh, everybody speaks, then let's say you have some great promotion that you have, right? Or like this one. Uh, this one doesn't have a good enough image. I would do something more with this instead of just okay. this. So for example, with Viator, you, this automatically goes to your Viator link, but it's not attractive. So what I would do is I would actually go into Viator and I would find an excursion or something. I would snatch a lot of the pictures from that excursion. I would create a video with those pictures, right? Like okay. a 30 second video or something, and then have the video playing, then have the link in this in the comments. In the and you post. said you do your videos on Templi? Yeah, I use Templi. But okay. there's so many, there's so many apps that you can use. You can even do it in Canva. I just haven't mastered it in Canva because I've been using Templi. Okay. Um, I really like Templi. Um, but there's a way to do that on Canva. Canva even has chat GPT now. Like, I don't even know how to do that yet. So I have right. to take the time to learn that. But we're in the age now where videos are where it's at. Short videos are where it's at. So why would we not be doing that to market our business? Right? Thank you. I appreciate you critiquing my page. I really do. Yeah. And so then once you have it, let's say you have a really good post, right? You got the video or the imagery or whatever, then share it to your public page. So now on your personal page, people will see this post that they may be interested. That's now going to encourage them to go to your group. And if they like what they see in, in your group, they'll join it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so that's it. Shamika? I know what I wanted to say. We talked about destination weddings um, on Tuesday. So I'm putting some packages together with that. But what I did was I actually went inside um, IntelliTravel, not even the back office. So I didn't even have to log in for this. I just went to IntelliTravel.com and went to the travel resources. And it was like news and articles. And it was so Perfect. it was like seven different ways to get married other than beaches. So I just copied and pasted, put me some emojis up there, and it was it. That's but I did want to say, because um, uh, Rochelle asked about it, Vacation Express has a lot going on with destination weddings. And mm -hmm. I like it because they give you the dates, they give you the resorts, and they give you everything that's included. So I was going to go back to Vacation Express and put some destination wedding packages together just off of what they gave me so absolutely and yes i love the intelli travel um back office newsletter because that's where i go to get some content as well in addition to that it's also like i said your emails when you register with these travel suppliers they're going to send you a ton of emails um i don't know how i got linked up what let me see so here's MSC. Again, if I'm on my phone, because I'm on my phone most of the time than my desktop, when I see this, all I do is screenshot it and crop it and post it in the group, my travel group. And I can do this one as a separate one. I could do this one as a separate one. I could do this one as a separate one. I could actually schedule these. 
this, all of this right here, this one email is like a whole month worth of uh, content. Because you could just schedule, you know, one a week or every couple of days. Because I'm registered with MSC. It's right there. I mean, this is not rocket science. Azamara. Okay, they send me this. Guess what? I'm going to screenshot this, crop it, and post it in the group. And encourage, you know, with a call to action. Again, screenshot, crop. I could even copy and paste this as the content, which is probably what I would do. So I'm going to screenshot this, but then I'll copy and paste this as the actual content for the post. Same thing here, right? I may not use this one because I don't like, when it comes to outside of cruises, I don't show who I'm booking it with. I don't give out the name of the supplier. So I would not copy and paste this. If I do, I'm going to crop it right here. I'll probably do exotic. Nope. Right at the top of this pyramid is where I'm going to crop it. Because I don't want this, the client to know that I'm using classic vacations or exotic adventures. Because some of our suppliers book with the general public. And then there's other suppliers that only book with travel advisors. That, again, copy and paste, crop it. This is another post right here. So you just want to make sure, I've been killing Villas of Distinction, promoting these villas. And and everything's right there. This, this is the content. And then you just go to it and pull out the pictures. I take the time to pull out the pictures and create a video because it's so, people are like, oh my gosh, I got someone who's already like, in December, I want to start planning my 55th birthday and I want a villa. All because she show, show, saw me create a video of these homes and St. Bart's and stuff. I don't really like the way this one looks, but y'all get the point. Uh, Kimon. Yeah, we get the point. Thank you, Director. So my question is, and it might be, you know, kind of silly. So is there a difference between the travel, between the page and the group as it relates to Facebook? Because yeah, there is. How do you, how do you create the group instead of the page? You just go to create group. <laughs> is there, do i have to be on my laptop to do that because i didn't see I, no you can do it from your from your phone when you're in facebook i mean you just if you're at just click on groups and then it says right here create group ta-da you see it oh kimo Oh, just sorry. click on groups on okay. Facebook and then you'll see an option create new group. oh I see okay yep <laughs> when in doubt ask YouTube University yeah <laughs> Benita I see your hand up okay great afternoon everyone um well you at you answered my question um earlier but I was gonna say to flip what you were saying that when she put her post on her page, can she tag her group? While you said tag the I mean, from the group, tag her personal page. I didn't say tag, it's, I said share. I mean share, I mean. Yeah, so this way people can click on it and it's going to take them to her group and now they have the option to join it. And I never knew it was two different things about the page and the group. So I learned something just now. So I got to change minds into a group because I think mine's is just a page, just like how my personal page is, that my business yeah. page is. So there's, there's your personal Facebook page, which is what you use to join Facebook. Then if you have a business or something, um, they 
and you want to run ads to grow your business, then you can create a business page, totally different. And then there are groups, groups are groups. Okay, thank you. Yep. Any other questions, comments, feedback? Uh, Deborah, no. Travel Joy is uh, a software that, a paid software that you can use to help manage your travel agency. You can create, um, you can create proposals, itineraries, all sorts of things through Travel Group, Travel Joy. Um, I like it because. A verification code. Seriously, this is what we're doing. So, for example, and you can create forms on here, emails. Um, one of our friends texted me yesterday. He's in Omega Sci-Fi and he wants a group of 10 to 15 of his fraternity brothers to go skiing. So I sent him the my Travel Joy link to my um, trip inquiry form for him to fill out so I can get the details. So this is something that I'll be working on um, probably today. And this one here, just to give you an example of the type of proposals that you can do. Um, I have a client that is considering either Turks and Caicos or Anguilla. And so I was able to create a smart proposal and, you know, put a cover and all the flight information, the costs, grab some pictures from the website, found a nice video on YouTube, was able to add that. They also wanted, um, here's where I added the travel insurance, copied and pasted the information right from the travel insurance um, from the supplier. They wanted a rental car. I went through our IntelliTravel back office to get the pricing on the rental car, found a picture of what they said it was gonna look like. I always tell my client what's included in this proposal as well as what's not included. So TravelJoy just allows you to put together really, really nice proposals. It allows you to also um, in, create invoices. So like, for example, with this client here, I charge a booking fee and he paid it, right? I charge $50 for it. So he was able to securely provide his payment information um, and through TravelJoy, um, there's a small fee for them to process it, but I rather them process it and take the fee than me tell my client to send me Cash App or Venmo. Like to me, that's just not professional. Um, if I'm doing all my business in Travel Joy, so it just allows you. And then the other thing that I like about Travel Joy um, is the messaging, because instead of my client texting me or now they're hitting me up in messenger and then the next time they have a question they're using text messages or maybe they decide to send an email all of the communication with the client can be right in travel joy so i don't forget something that i may have told them um or you know i had asked her a question so she sent me some answers back so we're just gonna you know we're just going back and forth so I hope that answers your question. Shamika? I just wanted to see real quick if you give me some feedback on my my flyer. Oh, you want to share it? Or you want yes. me to go to your page? or where it's, it? it's right. I can share my screen real quick. Okay, go ahead. So, yeah, so we can all see it. And through Travel Joy, Deborah, uh, by itself, it's thirty dollars a month. If you join as part of my team, you pay ten dollars.
I'm sorry. Can you repeat that that last part directly? <laughs> yeah. Like the yeah, I said as part of my team, if you if you want to join my travel joint team, which give you access um, to any forms and stuff that I've or templates that I've created, um, it's ten dollars. You pay ten dollars a month. But but I highly recommend y'all look at um, IntelliSpark because it's cheaper and apparently it does everything. Um, that travel joy does and more because it's connected to IntelliTravel. So look into that, try it out. I've just been using travel joy for literally ever since I joined IntelliTravel. So I, and I have too many people connected to me. That's the only reason I'm not using IntelliSpark. I wish IntelliSpark existed when I first started, but I'm now comfortable using travel joy. I have a bunch of people using it with me. So um, that's why I'm sticking with it. Okay, so let me see here. I love the colors. I like it. Well, this was what I Okay, so I got a question. Me. Yeah. You said the package includes round trip flight, but you didn't say from where. For the, at that price. I would include that. Oh, okay. From Chicago. Because okay. what if I'm leaving from Florida? I'm like, no, you said, it says right here, <laughs> flights were included. Okay, yeah, I put that on there. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I love that you have, that's what I was looking for. The price is subject to change until deposits made. I love that you put that in there. Yeah, I think that's beautiful. I like it. Okay, now I'm gonna change it up for Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's the? Do you state on there? What's the deposit, Shamika? Would you do that, or would you just tell them it's seventeen seventy one? Um, if we have a conversation, I'll definitely in disclose all of the information with them. Okay. That was good. That was good. All right, let me jump to Facebook real quick, see if anybody had any questions from Facebook, Team Lux Platinum Group. Uh, let's see, let's see, hold on. Now it won't shut up. Okay. All right, good. All right, I think we are all squared away. Any final comments before I let y'all go? I just want to say thank you, Director Burke, for because it was just reminders to get back kind of like to the basics of what we were doing and as far as in the video tips, because that is something I had not been incorporating um, as far as promoting stuff. So to get, you know, thank you for that tip as well. Absolutely. You're welcome. You're welcome. And let me say this, y'all. Mind your business. Go all into your business. It's your business. And as much as I am always happy to give y'all tips and stuff like that, you know, to, to help you take it to the next level, but some of y'all haven't even, y'all don't even have the basics down. You don't know what the heck you're doing with your travel agency. And it just shows me that you're not taking the time to learn your business. So for those of you who have not taken the time to really learn your business and become an expert at what you're doing, please don't tell anybody you can book their trip because all you're going to do is mess it up. And it's going to be a frustrating experience for your client and you. And you're going to start hating your business because you don't know what you're doing, but you got people who want you to book travel. I was not born knowing how to do this. But I made it my business and a priority to learn my business. I'm in the departure lounge group. I'm reading the posts so that I could learn. I'm on the travel agent webinars. I'm getting certifications. Some of you are not investing the time to, I've been in the IntelliTravel back office clicking and putting together fake trips and stuff like that. 
some of you are not doing that and you are totally lost and it's sad because it's your business supposedly and you don't know how to book anything because you haven't invested the time and everybody that's on here let me make sure before i say what i'm gonna say yes everybody on here to know what the heck they're doing with their IntelliTravel business. All of y'all been in here more than six months. And it's a shame that some of y'all don't know how to do basic stuff. But yet you're selling this product. How you gonna sell a product you don't know anything about? I need y'all to be the example for the people that you are asking to partner with you. Because some of the stuff, y'all should know. So it just shows that you're not spending enough time with your product. Erica, nope, I ain't cutting you no slack. Five months still. All right, let me change it. Four months. <laughs> no, but seriously, y'all get what I'm saying? This is the product that you sell. You should know your product like the back of your hand. Because you're selling it, the Intel Travel Agency. So you got to know it. Like I said, I was not born knowing how to do it. I spent hours and hours and hours in my back office. I've watched to come and take a tour. I read the advisor training manual. Like I said, I'm in the departure lounge group. They talk about Travel Joy in the Departure Lounge group too. I've posted about Travel Joy in our Team Lux Platinum group. So there's a post in there about it. We've talked about it here. But how did I find Travel Joy? Google, looking for software that travel agents use to run their business. That's how I came across Travel Joy. But there's so many other ones. But again, IntelliSpark, and here's the thing, IntelliSpark, they sent an email out about it. Some people don't even know about IntelliSpark. How do you not know about IntelliSpark when they sent you an email? I got the email. You got the email. The difference is I read it and you didn't. So don't go asking me about IntelliSpark. I even watched the video where Dana was talking about it. They have a group now for people who are subscribed to it. It's like, this is your business. And you should know every inch of your business. You should know your product, the back of your hand. So if you haven't treated your business like a business in 2023, I want you to change that. And say, you know what? And I'm not going to do that in 2024. I'm not going to not know my business in 2024. And I'm going to schedule time to for education of the product that I'm asking people to buy and partner with me. Anybody disagree with me? I know I'm stepping on some toes, but I mean, y'all ain't going to make no money like this. Not knowing. Ignorance is no excuse when it's right there. It ain't like IntelliTravel's hiding. <laughs> They're not hiding the education. They're, it's over, The amount of education IntelliTravel has put out is actually overwhelming. There's so much of it. And this is why I tell everybody, find a niche market. Pick one area of travel you want to focus on and put all your education in that one area whether it be cruises or groups or destination weddings and honeymoon or family travel or luxury travel or Asia or Europe, the Caribbean, whatever, domestic travel, whatever your specialty is going to be. And go hard on your training for that one area, master that one area. But like all the stuff about how to create postcards and newsletters, all y'all should know how to do that. It's right there, back office. And did you know IntelliTravel has a podcast? So on your smart device, you can go to the podcast app 
type in IntelliTravel and every single webinar they've done is there. So instead of you, I don't know what you're listening to, music or whatever on your commute, you should be listening to a podcast to learn your business, to learn these suppliers. So let's do, I want y'all to do better in 2024 when it comes to your product. I want you to, at whatever level you are right now, and some of you are serious bookers, but at whatever level you are right now, I want everybody to 10 exit. At whatever, wherever you are, if you at ground zero, okay, 10 exit. You rocking it at 90%, okay, 10 exit, go up. There's always another level. And we're not expecting you to know everything right now. Let me be clear. But if someone was to come up to you right now and say, hey, I want to go to Vegas. I need a flight. I want to rent a car. I want to stay on the, on the strip and I want to see a show. Can you put it together? Do you know the first thing you should be doing? And it's not call your sponsor. Hey, I got somebody who wants to go. What should I? I had to do that when I first started. I had to reach out to Carla Scott. You know why? Because we ain't have none of this education stuff for IntelliTravel when I started. But it, today, if I was to join the business today, I wouldn't have to reach out to my sponsor to ask her about how do I put a trip together. Jessica Sidemer wasn't there when I started and she's amazing. Did y'all know there's a whole group for ensemble that Jessica Sidemer runs that teaches you how to market your business? It's all there. I didn't have none of that. I reached out to my sponsor one time. I said, I got somebody who wants to book a carnival cruise. I don't even know what to do. She said, call carnival, tell them you're a new agent and they'll walk you through it. I said, oh, okay. That was the last time I called her about booking a trip. <laughs> Literally. And I said, okay, I got to figure this out. And I wasn't even looking to book. I was looking to build. But I said, I got to know this product because this is what I sell. And so I need y'all to, again, everybody, wherever, whatever level you are, 10 exit. You brand new, like Erica, that's still fairly new. Make sure you read the advisor training manual cover to cover. Everything you need to know is in there. Go through the dream maker, vacation builder, travel genius. Go through all of those. Do your clear courses. Register with these suppliers, use the content, both from the suppliers and your IntelliTravel back office for your social media. Put some trips together and market it. And if you already know how to do all of that, then take it to the next level. Learn how to do videos. Improve your logo if you don't have one. You can go right in Canva and create your own logo for free. But if you want this business to pay you like a business, you got to treat it like a business. And to whatever social media platform you are on, you should have um, your, your travel business on it. If you're on TikTok, then you should have a travel um, TikTok page. If you're on X, you should have an X travel so you can promote there. Instagram, you should have an Instagram page for your business. Facebook, have a Facebook group for your business. Whatever other, Snapchat, whatever. I don't know. There's so many out there. And last but not least, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Diversify your social media. You shouldn't just be on Facebook. Facebook could go away just like that and then your whole business is gone. Where else are you promoting? YouTube, great platform to promote your travel business. And then there's others, there's Rumbles, there's Truth. I mean, there's so many social media sites out there that you can be one of a handful of IntelliTravel agents. There's over 100,000 of us. 
<clears throat> there's over a hundred thousand because remember IntelliTravel existed before planet marketing right so there's over a hundred thousand agents and the majority of them are on facebook so go find go start join um and create content on some other platform where there's not a whole bunch of IntelliTravel agents questions comments feedback was good you know kind of give me a good recap of what you talked about before and also wedding destination yes but I wanted to add, when you said youtube i started using, using youtube shorts and that's great that's good stuff then guess what rochelle if you keep doing that and building your audience you can monetize your youtube page and start making money people yeah. are watching your stuff that's funny because last week it was it wasn't related to travel, but I was out on the bar with my sister and I, and we did a clip on that. I tried the bubble tea. I don't know if you tried it yet, but it has yeah. little bubbles. And I couldn't take it, so she filmed me and I uploaded it onto YouTube Shorts, and it got like fifteen hundred views. See? Yeah, so it it works. Absolutely, absolutely. Anybody else? Any comments? Feedback? Did I step on any toes today? No, ma'am. Just the truth when you need the truth. You know, it's all you're always been that way. And I, I you know, so but definitely like you said, 10x it. Just 10x what we're already doing if we're there, but we're where we're at. Thank you, Lakeisha. Miss Delta. Welcome. I just want to say, um, I think I'm can you hear me? Yes. I just want to say, ouch, I've been hitting my head against the wall, and now I just finally said, ouch. <laughs> it makes sense. And it it, it just opened up, because uh, when you would, when uh, the young lady was talking about her getting help, you critiquing her um, her travel page and things like that, and it, it made me think about when I went through the boot camp, that's when I did the, the, the travel web page and things like that. And I, you know, periodically I'll go and, and post things like that. But I'm like, like you said, amp it up you know, to, to 10, 10 up. And I, I that's what I got to do. I got to amp up to 10 because I mean, it, I got, you know, business quotes and, you know, inviting and all that. But I mean, trip wise, I, I mean, I, the moon and when, when I went to Chicago and then I did um, uh, the celebration and then went to Atlanta, I have none of that content on my page. I got to put, you know, like I said, amp it up. So I appreciate that. It, it, it you know, you, sometimes, I guess as far as me thinking, I was thinking like this, but now, you know, I, I broaden it and, and step way. I'm, I'm, I'm usually outside of the box, but now I'm way outside of the box too, you know, for the content and things like that. So I say thank you because, you know, like I said, like you, like you say, amp it up. You got to, if it's a business, you got to treat it like a business. You got to act like it's a business and do, do what you need to do to get it to that next level. Absolutely. Thank you. Erica? I just wanted to tell you thank you, Director Burke. Um, I'm very happy that I found you early on because I hear you in my head all the time. You You're like the umpteenth person who told me that. That reminds <laughs> me of the Tina Turner movie. I'm in your head, Anna Mary. I'm in your head. And, and and you and she will be all the time because I before I start doing something, I'll be like, um, Oh, Director Burke wouldn't like that, or what would she say? Hey, hey. <laughs> definitely in my head. And even when I have conversations, I was telling my best friend uh, on Halloween, I was like, well, Dir Director Burke said we should, this is the only time of year where people are going to be knocking at our door. We should do this and we should do that. And so, you know, even when you do go in, I love it because those are the moments that tend to stick with me. And I really value your words. I value what you say. And I think it's important for us to just stay plugged in. Like when you stay plugged in, you learn a lot, you yes. know? So thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And Martina, yes, I've gone back and videos that I had on my phone from like five, six years ago, I just upload them to my YouTube channel, right? And I have different playlists, right? There's a playlist called Travel with Tanisha. Right. So when I go places or whatever, I can upload it to that. I have another one called Lux Blessings, right? Because there was this whole journey with me buying this house and building the house and furnishing the house. So I have a certain playlist for that. And then there's business education where I upload virtual coffee break or any trainings or whatever. So, you know, take your videos, create playlists so that it's more organized and not just all over the place. Um, but definitely have one for your travel agency business. And as you're out and about all these trips we take in, 
right? There's the Planet Escape, there's Eagle Weekend, there's Blackout, there's the weekly meetings, like all that stuff gets should get uploaded. Um, and this way you get it off of your phone and someplace else. That's another good uh, reason to upload it to YouTube as well. Benita? Director Berg, Director Berg. I ain't gonna lie. You stepped on my toes, my fingers and everything else. But I think I put a person who you are and it's just, I know you mean well and you love everyone. That's the way why you talk to us the way it is. It's a wake up call. And I just said to myself, I need to get my butt up, do what I have to do, no matter how I'm feeling or whatever, what am I going through? I ain't going to make no money if I stick, stick just like this. So I have to, like the young lady say, stay plug in. Mm -hmm. So you just like, I'm like, what's she in my mind? Because I'm like, I'm just going to put a trip out there. I, I guess like a dummy, just practice. Because everybody was like, you just thinking too hard. Just do it. If there's a mistake, trust me, people's on your page. We will correct you or whatever. Just do it. So I'm about to put out something today. Good. And I just want to say thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And one last tip um, that really helped me. So like one of my favorite suppliers um, is Funjet Vacations. And so what I would do is I had a friend that wanted to go to Europe. And I was nervous because I've never been to Europe. So, and they travel differently in Europe. There's like, you know, you can take a train to another country in Europe, right? And so I put together a trip to Europe through Funjet, like me clicking and reading, because I, I like to kind of do it myself. Yes, I could make a phone call and have them put it all together, but I wanted to learn. I can't learn if I call you and you do it for me. I'm going to learn by me doing it myself. So I went on Funjet and I click, click, clicked everywhere and put together this trip to Europe based on what the client told me. But then after I like saved it, the itinerary, then I called Funjet and said, hey, I just put together this itinerary. Can you look it over and tell me, did I miss anything? Do you have any suggestions? Because they're the experts, right? They're certified in, you know, they got... Uh, customer service reps that are certified in Europe, certified in Asia, certified, right? And she looked at it and she said, that flight from France to whatever, she's like, the layover isn't long enough. They'll never have enough time to get to, to make that connecting flight. And I was like, oh, how would I know that? I've never been to that airport. It's in Europe. I haven't been to Europe. So I didn't know, all right, as an agent, I'm thinking, oh, let me provide my client with the shortest layover. But you can't do that in Europe <laughs> because of the way, how big the airport is. They needed that time. And had I not called and spoken to the expert and had them look over my itinerary, I would not have known that. So like I said, Take the time to go on these sites and learn. This is why it's important to pick maybe two suppliers that are your go-tos and master those two so that you know those two suppliers inside and out and make sure that they are suppliers that um, book the majority of the places you want to go, you know, that your clients are probably going to, like I use Delta Vacations. That's one of my go-tos, right? I love Delta Vacations, right? I love Vacation Express, right? Those are kind of like my two. I got some other ones, but anytime I'm getting ready to book something, I, I, I jump to Delta Vacations first. And if I don't see what I want there, then I'm going to Funjet. Pick the ones for you. Some of For some of you, it might be United Airlines or it might be Classic Vacations or it might be Go Away Travel. I mean, we have, gosh, we have so many to choose from, right? I would definitely make sure it's a preferred partner, right? They pay us the highest commissions. They have the best customer service and Teletravel has already vetted them, which is why they're on the preferred partner list. But pick one or two and make those your go-to and master them. Go on their website, click on all the tabs, create a trip. That's how you'll get good at what you do when it comes to the travel side. 
and get to that travel genius where you can get that 80%. Because why settle for 70% when 80% is on the table? Just saying. Unless y'all don't need that extra 10%. Y'all independently wealthy and don't want that extra 10% commission. I don't know. I'm just asking. But the way you learn is by doing, not by asking other people. You go do. You go do the research. You go read the information. You click and put it together. You go do. And don't ask people stuff that you have access to the information. And as you grow your team, don't give them answers to stuff that they can go find out themselves because now you're crippling them and you want to empower them. You want to make them independent of you as fast as possible. They should be independent of you and not dependent on you because they are the CEO of their business and you're still the CEO of yours. You're not their boss. You're not their manager. And they have access to the same tools and resources that you do. And that's why I'm very quick to show people where to go to get it or tell them where to go to get the information as opposed to just giving them the information. Because you got access to the same thing I do. To go look it up. Why can't you go look it up? It's there. And as Mr. Moore always says, we have amazing tools and resources, but they don't work unless you do. All right. So everybody have an amazing, amazing rest of the week. I will be at Tampa Super Sunday. So if you have anybody in the Tampa market, um, get them out to Super Sunday in Tampa. And then I'll see y'all on Tuesday. Bye, everybody. Love y'all. Have a great one.